My name is Kevin Annett, and I'm with the Friends and Relatives of the Disappeared. Today, six of us went to the National Headquarters of the United Church of Canada and delivered a public notice of intent. And the reason we did that is because two years ago on this very day, we went to the same headquarters and handed a letter of demand to Jamie Scott, who's a national officer with the United Church responsible for residential schools. And the letter was from relatives of children who died in the residential schools, and they simply asked the United Church to disclose where the children are buried who died in these schools. Two years later, we haven't heard a thing, and so under legal advice, we presented this letter today, and this is how it reads. Issued a uh, public notice of intent issued to the United Church of Canada Incorporated and to its moderator Marty Tyndall, General Secretary Nora Sanders, and National Officer Jamie Scott in Toronto on Monday, February 8, 2010. In the matter of the failure of your organization and its officers to reply to or contest claims made against them, in relation to the death and disappearance of children in your Indian residential schools. Be it known that because, of, because a legal letter of demand dated two years ago today and delivered in person to United Church National Officer Jamie Scott at your church's headquarters at 3250 Bloor Street West in Toronto has gone unanswered. Your organization has not contested nor disagreed with the allegations of murder, genocide and other crimes made against your church in the said letter of demand and therefore as the authors of the letter, we, the friends and relatives of the disappeared, which represents residential school survivors and their deceased relatives, do hereby declare that you are given seven days as of today to commence a process of repatriating for a proper burial the remains of all children who died in Indian residential schools and, ho and hospitals established and operated by the United Church, and of surrendering all evidence surrounding these deaths, including the persons responsible for and or complicit in these deaths. If you fail to do so by the hour of 12 o'clock noon on Monday, February 15, 2010, Eastern Standard Time, our network will commence an indefinite public campaign to do two things. One, hold your church officers personally liable for the deaths of all children in United Church Indian schools and hospitals and for all injuries suffered in these schools. And two, to systematically disrupt and impede the normal operations of your organization through nonviolent direct actions. This campaign will include the placing of commercial liens on the property assets and incomes of your church officers, the active denying of funding and donations to your church, the disaffiliation of individual members, clergy and congregations from your national church, and the cancellation of the legal charitable tax exempt status of your church under Canadian law. This ultimatum and threat of action is required because of your tacit consent to the criminal charges made against you, your continued evasion and denial of justice to those harmed and wronged by you, your harboring of known rapists, pedophiles and murderers in your church, your collusion and murder and genocide, your refusal to take responsibility or be held liable for the deaths of many thousands of Aboriginal children, your subversion of justice, and your active suppression of the evidence of your crimes, including the destruction of documentary evidence and the destruction of the physical remains of your victims. Our civil disobedience campaign against you and your organization is required as well by the ongoing and deliberate complicity of the police, the government and the judiciary of Canada in these your crimes as evident in their refusal to prosecute you and your organization for your proven criminal acts and crimes against humanity. We hereby declare this intent before the world and we call upon all people of conscience around the world and affiliates of the World Council of Churches to endorse and support this campaign and boycott of you and your church the United Church of Canada, until justice is won for your living and dead victims and for all those who continue to suffer under your regime. And this is signed by Jeremiah Jourdain, who's the national uh, elder for the Métis and Cree Nation and uh, the convener of the national executive of the Friends and Relatives of the Disappeared. And we've sent this all over the world.